It's here in the Butte District Courtroom where punishment is handed out to those convicted of a crime. But for the people that are severely addicted, the punishment is often not a strong enough deterrent over their addiction. And one local prosecutor believes the system has to change to deal with these types of offenders. We have to look at what we're doing with people that are addicted. I don't think there's enough help out there for mental health and addiction. And I think that that's causing it all to swell. Courts are seeing many repeat offenders whose crimes are often related to funding their addiction to opioids and other dangerous drugs. Most people charged with drug possession are given a delayed sentence and ordered by the court to seek treatment themselves while on probation. We had a young lady um, probably a year or two ago, 18 years old. Um, she got a deferred sentence. Within a matter of six months, she was already at um, another charge. You know, at 18 years old, I mean, your brain's not even fully developed yet, and you're expected to turn your life around. It just, you know, it just doesn't work. Shea believes those arrested for simple drug possession should not be criminally charged, but ordered to a drug treatment facility by the courts instead. Without addiction treatment, Shea believes offenders will continue to repeat their crimes. If we're not treating it up front like that and having the resources to do that, then, um, you know, we're just on a hamster wheel. Many neighborhood watch groups in Butte say they've seen an increase in crime in recent years and believe drug use is the culprit. The drugs have changed. The crime has changed based on the drugs. Um, they're highly addictive. Um, some of them are prescribed. Some of them are you know, manufactured. Shea says it will take action from the state legislature to fund a system based on addiction recovery. In Butte, John Amy, MTN News.